victory for Albania against Armenia last October meant the celebrations could begin. France 2016 will be Albania's first appearance at a major international tournament. For their captain, Lorik Sanna, it's been the ambition of a lifetime. It's difficult to describe how wonderful this is, especially for me, as I've been fighting for 13 years to achieve this goal. It was my dream to make it happen before I retired from football. 13 years I've played with the national team have not just been a pleasure, but have been the pinnacle of my career and my life. It's been quite a journey. Sana was born in Pristina, Kosovo in 1983, at a time of regional tension. His family moved to Switzerland, where his father played professionally. I spent part of my childhood in Kosovo. I was seven when our family moved to Switzerland, and I spent most of my childhood there. Then, when I was 16, I went to France and settled in Paris. In the French capital, Sana took his first steps towards a career in football at Paris Saint-Germain. In France, when I was 16, I was lucky to be part of a great team and a club like Paris Saint-Germain. It was very challenging because at a club like that, competition and quality is exceptional. By the time I was 19, I was playing in the first team alongside players like Ronaldinho and Heinze. It was incredible to play alongside these famous players and it really helped me to progress and improve quickly. Later, I transferred to Marseille, which is a huge club in its own right, and one of the greatest in France. There, I continued to develop, playing in the Champions League too. It was a fantastic start to my career, and I got to experience many things that a lot of footballers never get to experience. Sana's move to Marseille in 2005 was the beginning of a new adventure. The Albanian secured his place in the starting lineup and went on to become captain. It was my dream to play for Olympic Marseille. God gave me the opportunity not only to play for them, but also to spend four amazing years there. I became club captain at the age of 24 and led us out in the Champions League. I built a fantastic relationship with the club, but also with the city and the people of Marseille. Then came a new opportunity in another country, from the south of France to the northeast of England, at Sunderland. England's Premier League is really incredible. It was one of my wishes to play there. In the time I spent there, I really enjoyed every minute being on the pitch. I think maybe it's the most beautiful championship in the world. After spells in Turkey and Italy, Sana is now back in France at Nantes. For Albania's most capped player, it's another chapter in a rich career. And he's passing on his knowledge to Albania's next generation. He has helped all of us in so many ways, including myself at Nantes. I'm very happy and very proud to play with him. He's really a very special guy. Lorik is like the father to our team. Just having Lorik in the squad is encouraging to us and I'm proud to play alongside him. Despite all his success abroad, for Lorik Sanna, representing his country, stands out. It's the same sport, but representing your country is something that stirs emotions, totally different from playing at club level. Your nation is your nation. Representing your nation and your roots with dignity and pride is a huge responsibility. Whatever the result, we must always show ourselves worthy of weighing the national colours.